how many families uh, impoverished because of their in lack of access to uh, family planning services. They cannot afford it. And that is why the government has to provide these uh, services free. And that is what the other countries uh, did. So this is a huge government failure which is uh, being uh, what endorsed or perpetrated by the Catholic Church. And uh, as I said, this is going to be a great, another great error which they will regret later on. Okay. So, okay, so I, I'm just saying that I think the bishops, oh, actually I have two priest brothers. So, but uh, they are more, uh, they're quite progressive minded. I have, uh, I've been able to influence them rather than in, they're influencing me. No, no actually they're quite uh, liberal minded uh, brothers and uh, they, they are, they are not, they are not endorsing not openly endorsing the, the, the uh, conservative Catholic Church hierarchy. One of my brothers actually is uh, the Superior General of the SBB, which is a major congregation of the award. Yes, he was given an award by the name. Anyway, so you know where I'm, I'm coming from. I, I, no, I have been through uh, several uh, types of experiences. I have perspectives not just of one side but of other sides as well. So anyway, so that's what I, I'm saying. I, I, I'm saying that I, I'd like to tell the bishops that uh, that they should that they should be uh, more careful about uh, being so cocksure and dogmatic uh, uh, on the issue of uh, conversation. Cocksure. Uh, they should not be <laughs> a pun unintended. Anyway, so uh, I, I think that that is what they should do. And uh, well, uh, you know, for uh, Bishop Jesus Cruzado to uh, threaten uh, pro-reproductive health bill communion, uh, that was really just unquote for. And if I were you, uh, if I, I would not be threatened by such uh, a threat. Communion, after all, you, you know from the communion is just a sacrament, right? From my catechism, I, I learned that communion is a sacrament. It is an external sign. If you don't internalize that sacrament and let it affect and influence your behavior, your life, it doesn't mean, mean anything. And I think that is the problem with our Catholicism in this country. We receive a lot of sacraments, but these sacraments do not uh, do not get internalized and do not influence our behavior. That is, that's why there's so much corruption and misgovernance and misbehavior. Uh, anyway, that's uh, So let me now talk about the uh, the uh, relation uh, between uh, of uh, the effect of uh, lack of uh, family plan services and high fertility, unintended high fertility among men and women, unintended high large number of children among many families, and uh, the economy. Well, uh, we have, as I've said, we have done research on this issue over the past uh, three or four decades. Okay? And uh, what, what, we, what we can tell you is this. Uh, poverty is uh, really Poverty, I would not, we don't say that poverty is caused by rapid population growth. We say that poverty is caused by misgovernance, bad governance, okay? high income and wealth inequality, and uh, weak economic growth, middling, mediocre economic growth. What uh, rapid population growth does, and high fertility does, is to exacerbate poverty caused by, you know, the, the things I mentioned. Bad governance, high income and wealth inequality, and weak economic growth. So, then it becomes very difficult uh, when, when you have uh, all, uh, when you have an economy that is growing, uh, you know, so-so, uh, although they said the uh, economic was 7% last year, but that's questionable. There's some, uh, we have questioned the statistics there. Uh, that, uh, so the weak economic growth that, that the economy has been uh, experiencing because of misgovernance and bad governance 
and uh, high income and wealth inequality, uh, uh, rapid population growth, high fertility contributes to uh, making it difficult for poverty to be solved or to be, you know, to be reduced. And that is why we, uh, poverty has been persistent in this country. In fact, it has increased uh, official poverty data uh, from the National Census uh, Statistics Office show that poverty has increased from 30%, poverty incidence, proportion of the population below the poverty line, increased from 30% in 2003 to 33% or 32.9% uh, in 2006. Despite the claims of uh, the government or the administration that the economy has been doing well, kind of uh, contradictory, kind of inconsistent. And so there's some, uh, some you know, questions we have raised on the, uh, on the data. And partly it's because uh, the, uh, the government has not, pro uh, has not pro uh, provided adequate funds for modernizing and improving our statistical system. Instead, uh, the government has been spending money on other useless uh, things. An example I'll tell you is uh, the NBN ZDE, which was, uh, and, and the, the international airport in Bangla, for example. The, the government is uh, building an international airport in Bangla, right on Bangla Island, and from all the time, I'm, I'm very passionate about this. Uh, and yet, you know, the Philippines already has uh, nine so-called international airports. I'll tell you, Lawak, Subic, Clark, Naia. Iloilo, Cebu, uh, Davao, uh, General Santos, San Buanga. Okay, and they're going to build another international airport on Panglao Island. And they want to finish it before the end of the term of GMA and uh, before the term of the, uh, yeah, the term of the governor. So you can, you, can, you can already smell that there's something fishy there. So the, the, the bigger the project, the bigger the, uh, the fish. Okay, anyway. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm saying that uh, this, this part, this is, uh, this is the misgovernance we're talking about, uh, uh, misallocation of resources. Okay, so uh, that, that is the, the conclusion in uh, short that we could tell you about the studies we have on uh, the relationship between the economy and uh, population growth or fertility. And uh, we have also done simulation. Uh, for example, if the Philippines had uh, reduced its population growth rate or unfertility rate, 